Hi guys, um, it's Claris, and today I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to do fuchsias with you guys by special request. Uh, this is um, what I tried um, as a, not a first attempt because I've done them about a year or two ago. And uh, this is me trying it again. I'm just trying to see how easily I am able to transfer it onto paper without actually spending too much time. So again, in a very loose manner. And this is what I've come up with. I am going to try and see if I can do this even better for this tutorial. So this will be my third actual attempt. Oh, and this is just something else I was trying. So I'm just gonna open a new sheet. Oh, and if you're wondering what paper I'm using, I'm trying this new um, Strathmore watercolor cold press paper that I just ordered off Amazon. So yeah, because uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I am currently traveling and I wanted something small and compact because I figured I will use my surroundings because I'm traveling, I'm in Mumbai. There's a lot of greenery, it is the monsoon here. And uh, I figured what better place to record a painting than um, a place surrounded with a lot of inspiration. And I'm going to post a video on um, what my surroundings look like. And so stay tuned for that at the end of this tutorial. So let's get started, guys. Without further ado, the colors I'm using are going to be a, a red, a pinky red, a bright green, like a brownie green, and a purple. It's quite dark, so you can't really see it, but trust me, those are the colors. Um, for my brushes, I am using um, definitely the silver black velvet uh, in the eight, the four, around seven, my um, mop brush in the one, and I have a 10 available, but I might not end up using it, so let's see. So I'm going to start off with the seven, and I'm going to start with the center of the fuchsia, which is the purple. So using the same pink or red that I'm going to be using for the outside petals of it, I'm just going to mix some of that with the purple and get this uh, plum sort of color and mix it with that purple. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create, paint in um, the pod, which kind of looks like this. And I guess I'll just give it some direction. So the stems normally just kind of go over and they hang from the stem. So you want them falling down. So we'll just do something like this in this direction. And again, my, my main thing is having a lot of white space because that really gives an indication of light and dark. And if you hear kids in the background, that's because the kids are upstairs playing. So please don't mind that. So I'm doing the pod very loosely like this. And then I'm going to take my silver black velvet in the eight. And I'm gonna take some of the red and I have enough water on this. And I'm just gonna create the petals that go on the outside. So the first one comes like that. And then it kind of goes out I think it might help to take a little more color, kind of like that. And then you're just doing it like an arc and you wanna to touch the center so it blends in with the purple. Same thing with this one. And then you can put in mm -hmm. some extra dark purple in the center here to give it that 2D effect because this would be the 
petals on the inside, right? So it gives you that uh, kind of like shadow, shadowy effect. And now using this one with the red that I have on it or the pink, whichever one you want to call it, um, I'm just going to draw the inner, what do you call them? I'm not sure what you call them. I'm going to call them tentacles for the sake of this video. Otherwise, I'll just be like these little lines. So just like that, I think there's, I think that's about right. They're very like uneven in height. And then immediately I'm going to use the number four and get some of my green. And and do the stem area. And it kind of goes whoosh. And then you want to do a couple more because let's do the actual stem um, branch that it's hanging off. And I think those are pretty much like brown. So I've, I've taken more brown, the brownie green, and I'm just going to go like this. And then this way now I can take the lighter green which is a lot brighter and just have it pulling from here, falling down. And then I'll repeat the same process for this one. So we have our respective brushes. I will start with the red this time. And I'm just going to have it extending from here. And then you have it coming out this way and again, very loosely, like your strokes should be very loose. That's what I mean. And then I'm gonna take my purple and do the inside globe. And then I want it to be slightly darker just to kind of give it certain areas over there light and dark all right and then you have then i'm going to take my red again and just extend from the inside down to do the little tentacles if you can get a brush that's a lot thinner like i would suggest using that if you want to be a little more accurate with the thinness um, i like the loose feel of it so I don't mind it being a little bit all over the place and then just finally in conclusion um, I'm just going to do leaves which are pretty much actually before I do the leaves I've also noticed that you have some fuchsias that have just the red extending down which is very pretty in these little bulbs so let's just do that to kind of complement this even more and it's literally just extending it and adding a bulb at the end. And it's really pretty because you know I like the whole um, bulby effect, having them. And I think the, the shape of it is like dome shaped almost. So you kind of just have it thick at the top and then tapered towards the end. And you can just have a couple of them just kind of extending. And give it and give it some shape in the sense, like if you want to have it directionally pointing in a certain way to kind of create, oops, sorry, hit this. To create motion or absolutely go for it. Because it's all about having movement and creating something attractive in your pieces of artwork. So I would do, I would put some thought into it if you wish to make it a little more appealing that way. I am not giving it much thought right now, so my placement might be off and you might have better suggestions, but, but that's just because I want to make this tutorial quick and I want to make sure you get the crux of it, which is how to paint fuchsias and kind of really make it worth your while. <laughs> So we're going to do this and uh, 
I'm going to end it here because this is pretty much how I would do a fuchsia. Oh, actually, I did say I would do some leaves, didn't I? So let me do some leaves, add some greenery to it, and make it a little more appealing. And their leaves are very, um, they're like on the longer end of the spectrum. So I would just do the really loose leaves. And I'd go lighter on it, is my suggestion. But you don't have to do it exactly the way I say to do it. So these are all just suggestions. And I want you guys to go and experiment and find your own way if you have you come up with an even better technique because to me art is all about getting inspiration from other artists and then trying it out yourself coming up with your own techniques as well and not being afraid to try it because while I'm showing you my technique I'm hoping it brings inspiration that you're able to kind of not be afraid to go out and try your own because you might be even better so that is my hope, guys, while I am quickly doing these rough leaves to kind of complement these fuchsias that I've done. So, yeah, so this is what, uh, this is how I would normally do the fuchsia. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Like I mentioned, I am traveling. I'll try and make these tutorials that I have for you guys a little more interesting and exotic in nature since I am in a hotter country right now and lots of inspiration around me like I said so hope you guys like this um, as per usual I am on Instagram I am on Facebook please feel free to follow engage ask questions if you have any I am ever 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 grateful for engagement and conversation I love meeting new people thanks so much for watching guys and thank you for subscribing bye Hi guys, as many of you know, I am on vacation with my children visiting uh, my homeland, my original land of birth, India, and uh, I'm just on a mini getaway vacation with some friends, and we've come to this location which is like two hours outside of Mumbai, and it's just a lot of greenery and... Um, very peaceful scenic views and fresh air compared to the city and as you can see it is the monsoons so everything is quite wet and fresh and green looking and I just wanted to take some time to show you guys the beautiful plants that are around me um, I don't know what any of these are called because they're all very tropical but they're just so pretty and I thought I should do a mini, mini, mini video to show you guys exactly how pretty this looks um, and the exotic shapes of the leaves and the colors. In fact, uh, okay, so this is the backyard of the cottage that we're staying at. And this is the balcony area. And uh, in the front, there's actually this really nice pink leaved plant, which has long leaves and it's pink and like a deep purple. But anyways, just thought I'd share this uh, beautiful, natural state of vegetation with you guys um, before I begin the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this.